I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas Light Guy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure multiple wireless ES Pixel Sticks to run in FPP remote multi-sync mode. This includes using X lights to configure the ES Pixel Stick outputs and to assign props, setting up the ES Pixel Stick using the web-based UI, uploading a sequence player to the FPP and to the ES Pixel Sticks, setting up a playlist, and a demo of all this. Now I've given you an overview of what's going to be covered in this tutorial. The first question that comes to mind is, what is FPP, Remote Multisync Mode? Well, in basic terms, it's a network protocol that allows a device, an FPP or controller, to run sequences locally instead of all the data being streamed to that device. This means the sequences or media is uploaded and stored on the device. Then the device listens for commands such as start, stop, and synchronize the sequence or media. This reduces the network traffic significantly. FPP remote multi-sync mode is recommended for wireless networks and wired networks with high channel count, where you're streaming lots of data across the network. Now I've given you an explanation of the FPP remote multi-sync mode. Let's see it in action. Here is my network diagram. I have a very simple wired and wireless network for this demo. It includes a Falcon player or FPP run in version 5.5 on a Raspberry Pi, an 8 port switch, and a wireless WaveTech outdoor access point. I'm using three ES Pixel sticks running version 4 beta 4 firmware with IP addresses of unit number 2. 192.168.100.242, unit number 3.243, and unit number 4.244. Each of the ES Pixel Sticks have a 16 gig SD card inserted for uploading the sequences. Note, version 4 of the ES Pixel Stick firmware is still in beta, and there are some issues with the UI interface. I will show you how to set up nearly everything using X lights in order to minimize the use of the UI. Let's get started by setting up the ES Pixel Sticks as controllers in X lights. Open up X lights. Go to the controllers tab, press the discover button and it will search the controllers on the network. There seems to be a bug here. Sometimes the host name doesn't work properly. Just press discover again. Accept the mismatch IP dialog messages. Now it found my three ES Pixel sticks with names and IP addresses. It also found my FPP, which I will delete. Next, I will arrange the ES Pixel sticks in order and set the ID to 1, 2, and 3. This isn't necessary, but it does make it look cleaner. I'm setting unit number 2 to 1, unit number 3 to 2, and unit number 4 to 3. Save. Next, select the Layout tab. In order to save time, I've already added my Glow Spinner prop with 142 pixels, a Biscoyo medium. 180 degree tree and a star with a total of 70 pixels and a Biscoyo hex snowflake with 48 pixels. Now I will go to the controllers tab where I will assign the props to the appropriate ES pixel stick. Select unit number two, click visualize button, drag the glow spinner onto pixel port one, Close the window, go to unit number 3, it's connected to the tree and star, click the visualize button, drag the tree, then the star, onto pixel port 1, close the window, go to unit number 4, it is connected to the snowflake. Click Visualize, drag the snowflake 
crop onto Pixel Port 1, close the window. Next, I will upload outputs to each unit, which will configure the output channels. Select unit number 2, press the Upload Output button. Select unit number 3, press the Output button. Select number 4, press the Upload Output button. Next, I will go to the Sequencer tab and create an animation sequence. Select New Sequence, Animation, 20 frames per second. Quick Start to add all the models and a default of 30 seconds. As you can see, the models and props have been added. I'm going to stop the video here and add some effects to the props. I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back and I've created a 30 second sequence with some effects on the props. Nothing spectacular here, just a few different effects so that you can see that it's working. I will test the three ES pixel sticks using X lights. Let me start the video recording of the actual props. Give me just a second. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to enable the output, and we see that it's working. There is a bit of a lag on the props, but I also see this on my laptop. Now, I will click through the different effects that I've created every five seconds just to see that there are differences in each of these. Number five, and last but not least, number six. I'm going to stop the video here. Okay, next I will show you how to upload the sequence to each of the ES Pixel Sticks and to the FPP. I've moved over to a browser where I have the FPP UI opened up and on the status page. Go to the status control menu, select multi-sync. Notice each of the ES Pixel Sticks are in bridge mode. This needs to be changed FPP remote. I have the UI for each of the ES Pixel Sticks pulled up on my browser tab. Using the device setup page, select the secondary input option to FPP remote, then save. Go to the next unit. Select secondary input option to FPP remote, then save. And to the last unit, select secondary input option, FPP remote, then save. Go back to the multi-sync page on the FPP UI. Notice the ES Pixel Sticks are now in remote mode. Jumping back over to X Lights, go to the Tools menu, select FPP Connect. It will discover the three ES Pixel Sticks and the FPP. I will make sure each are selected. There's only one sequence in my working directory, so it's selected. Press Upload. The sequence is uploaded to the three ES Pixel Sticks and to the FPP. Now go back to the ES Pixel Stick UI on the File Management page and verify the sequence was uploaded on each. As you can see, the sequence was uploaded to each ES Pixel Stick. Go back to the FPP UI, select Content, Setup, Playlist, and I will create a new playlist. Call it this. Add Playlist. Next, I will add the sequence that we created to the playlist. Sequence only. Select, Add, Save, and then we'll go back to the Status page. I'm going to enable Repeat. I need to enable my video recording. Give me just a second. Okay, the video is on, and I will press play and see if it works. There you go. You can see the ES Pixel Sticks are running in remote mode and playing the sequence. There isn't any delay or lag. Everything looks to be running correctly. If we go back to the multi-sync page, it will show the ES Pixel Sticks are running in remote mode. It also shows some additional information, such as sequence name and elapsed time. Remember, each ES Pixel Stick has a copy of the sequence uploaded to it, and it's running locally. The data isn't being streamed to the ES Pixel Sticks. The FPP 
is sending multi-sync commands to start, stop, and synchronize. In this tutorial, I explained and showed you how to set up and configure ES Pixel Sticks for FPP remote multi-sync operation. Almost the entire configuration of the ES Pixel Stick was performed using X-Lights. The only setting where I had to use ES Pixel Stick UI was to set the secondary output option to FPP remote. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. If you did and would like to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guy.